Hey everyone, it's Lauren here. I'm so excited to be with you to celebrate International Scrapbooking Day. Now you may be watching this on my YouTube channel or the Hip Kit Club YouTube channel because I've created this layout as part of the Hip Kit Club National Scrap Day Challenge Day, I guess as we can call it, because every 30 minutes in the Hip Kit Club Facebook group, there's going to be a challenge and you have a chance to win a gift voucher. And so this, I've decided, I, I'm a part of this. And my challenge today for you is to create a layout that has some fussy cutting in it. Now I'm using the March kits because my April kits still haven't arrived. And as you can see, I fussy cut these beautiful, blue, beautiful floral um, pieces out of that gorgeous Jen Hadfield paper. I'm, I'm then going to make a layout. I was also inspired by a beautiful mood board that Amanda Baldwin on the design team has put together for her challenge. So this layout, you know, it, it has a double kind of thing, but my challenge, which you can have a chance to win a gift card, is about fussy cutting. So I want you to create a layout with some fussy cutting on it and then upload it into the album where my challenge will be indicated and you have a chance to win that win that voucher. Now in this crazy time, this crazy COVID time, I think it's just so lovely that so many of our scrapbooking community are coming together to celebrate this day and most of the celebrations are heading over multiple days with challenges and prizes, forum chats and the Hip Kit Club in particular is is going full full gu full guns for this special occasion and the design team, which I'm a part of, is we're going to be online in the Facebook group chatting with you throughout the day and encouraging you to participate in all these really fun challenges. The other exciting thing with the Hip Kit Club is that there is a massive sale going on. So if you are wanting to stock up on some goodies, get some grab bags, be a part of the Hip Kit Club family, you need to get on over to the website and pick yourself up an absolute bargain there. Now, just just to finish off the important details, the deadline for all the submissions is the 3rd of May and the winners are going to be announced on the 5th of May. So challenges every half hour. So fussy cutting's not your thing. I guarantee you there is going to be a challenge that's happening in the group today that you will want to be a part of and that will fit in with your style of scrapbooking. So these these beautiful papers, majority of these are from the Heidi Swap storyline collection that we got in the March kits. These beautiful colours uh, were perfect to highlight this special moment of my family and I heading off on a road trip at the end of January. This is we we most years we try to get away on what we have is the Australia Day weekend at the end of January and uh, I just thought each time I usually snap a driving out of the driveway selfie with the family and um, this this photo is is exactly that we're heading away we're going to have a great weekend and it tends to be the title page of my project life album when I'm about to document all the memories that we made on that on that trip so here I am I've as you can see I've pulled out my sewing machine I've done some fussy cutting by cutting out those strips of paper from the Heidi Swap collection I've also cut up one of the black and white pocket life cards that came in our pocket life kit and I've mounted my photo with that and added some off cuts just under there just to give that bit of a black pop I'm now going to add some embellishments and I'm thinking about my title and I absolutely love these gorgeous little tags they they're from Heidi Swap as well in the kit and I thought I'm just going to have one hanging down there as just as a little bit of a feature on the layout and it and I'm really happy with it and I think it's a delightful little feature I, it kind of ends up my face is already chopped off in the photo, but it does draw your attention to that section of the photo where my face is. So it's kind of getting a bit cut off more, but it's just my face and we know what I look like. I love the embellishment more than that. So 
anyway we're just going to go with it a little bit more fussy cutting here a gorgeous beautiful butterfly that I thought would sit perfectly on these flower clusters that I'm about to adhere down I wanted my photo to jump off the page a bit so I'm adding some foam tape there and that will just sit on top and the one thing that in this layout that I don't end up doing on camera is when I adhere my my title down there's a little gap between the two words the word the title is going to be road trip and off camera later on I add another little flower cluster between the two words road trip and that just sort of tied it together you'll see in a minute what I mean when the title just sort of uh, sits by itself and I guess this is a good example of me chatting to you about it where something just doesn't feel right or it feels a bit lost adding a little bit of a flower custer mounting it on something else or adding a few embellishments around it really ties it together so this lad shortly will be a good example of um, how, how that effect on a on a layout and how to try and fix it even though you don't see me fixing it in this one here so here I'm about to adhere my title how beautiful is those rosettes from that um, Jen Hadfield collection I I just you couldn't ask for a more perfect piece of pattern paper to fussy cut and the way that the flower clusters are designed on the on the paper allows you to maneuver them around and create the cluster that cluster design that you really custom that fits with your photo so I hope that makes sense but see as you can see road trip there now is that a good example it's sitting quite up there it's alone it's not not really feeling connected to the the layout itself so in between road trip I do end up off screen later on when it's sitting in my album I looked at it and went I need a flower cluster in the middle of that road trip and I although you don't see it it ties it all together I also love that Heidi Swap is bringing photo corners back with a vengeance. I'm loving it. And as you can see by just me placing those four little corners down there, it's just sort of really brought the focus into that cluster and the photo and the and and the layout in itself. It just sort of brought that in as opposed to letting it sort of our eyes sort of wash off the page. So I'm just adding a few little extra embellishments, which was just that sticker up the top and January down the bottom. And now I'm going to finish off with some black splatters. Um, with I just used a little bit of liquid stays on ink. That's just a pad refiller and I'm just adding a few splatters on there you've got to do it quite quickly because um, it dries very quickly that ink but yeah so there you have it there's my layout I hope you are having a wonderful national scrapbooking day and I hope you're going to find some time to scrapbook and participate in some of these fabulous challenges over on the hip kit club channel take care okay bye